please subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. What is holding back India's central bank from launching its digital currency? That's what we're going to explore in this episode. So we're going to briefly scrutinize the factors holding back India's central bank from launching its digital currency today. Stay with us till the end. I'm Sage for Calgai Media. The major central banks across the globe are not in a hurry to roll out digital currencies and just after the Reserve Bank of Australia, Governor Philip Lowe rejected any strong need for the same. The Reserve Bank of India's Governor Shakti Kanta Das raised concerns related to cyber frauds and launching virtual currencies. Let's delve into the concerns that he raised. Beginning with the major concerns. Speaking at a post-monetary policy press conference on the 9th of December, Mr. Das said that the main concerns around launching the central bank digital currency are from the angle of cyber security and the possibility of digital frauds. Now, these currencies require robust systems that thwart such melee attempts. He added, and earlier in July this year, the Reserve Bank of India had said that it was working towards a phased implementation strategy for a central bank digital currency and was examining whether central bank digital currencies or CBDCs should be used in retail payments or also in wholesale payments. So meanwhile, Lowe stated that there was no strong need for a CBDC, even as he cautiously welcomed the possibility of the creation of the same. And the remarks came a day after Treasurer Josh Frydenberg said that the Australian government was mulling a digital currency as part of an overhaul of the payment system. He also mentioned that it was not obvious that a CBDC would be a solution to any particular problem or that there would currently be a significant demand for a central bank digital currency. So what is a CBDC? A central bank digital currency is a sovereign currency in an electric form. It would appear as a liability on the balance sheet of a central bank and these digital currencies could be designed for use either amongst the financial intermediaries only or by the wider economy, according to the report. In conclusion, while the concerns raised are reasonably sound, central bank digital currencies are a step towards the future. To a survey conducted by the bank for international settlements this year, 86% of central banks were actively researching the potential for CBDCs, while 60% were experimenting with the technology and 14% were deploying pilot projects. If you do like this information, please like, share, comment on the video below, subscribe to the channel. If you press the bell icon, you'll be notified when Calcine has a new video. For more information, regular updates, head to the website, it's calcinemedia.com.